Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo man, we got a, a major death we got to talk about, man. Um, uh, what else we got over here, man? We got Mayno talking about um edibles and uh, we got Wallow giving um telling the future. Fifty Cent and BET won't wet down with that black man, and we also got a uh, glow real again. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Hey yo, if this your first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button if you're any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that. That notification bell is waiting for your tap. So go on and give it a tap, and that subscribe button is waiting for your subscription, man. So go on and touch that too. Yo, where my energy drink at, man? I need an energy drink because I don't got enough energy, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling a little tired right now, man. Let me, let me crack this joint open real quick. Hold on for a second. Hold on for a second. Let me drink this joint up real quick. All right, I think I might be good right now. Yo, check this out, man. Where we at over here? Look, look, listen, listen, listen. We're going to set this one off with Glorilla. You know what I'm saying? The artist Glorilla has stated. She, this is what she said. This is what she said. She said, I'm cool with not having friends. Only had five people in my class anyway. <laughs> Close quote. Who's going to tell her? You know what I'm saying? You're like, yo, she had to know. Nah, nah, sometimes they don't be knowing. You know what I mean? Look, I had a kid ask me one time, right? He was like, Celeb, is this a special class? I was like, yo, look around. And what it looked like, Sauce. Look, look, one-to-one -one replica. It was insane. Every time they asked me, you know what I'm saying? I'd be like, yo, look around. Look, look at your neighbor. You know what I'm saying? Somebody picking their nose right next to them. They know, they know. After a while, they, look, Glorilla sitting next to them. They're like, oh, damn. You know what I'm saying? Then they try to get the class in order. Hey, yo, can y'all stop? Can y'all stop? I'm looking at them like it ain't no use. They can't. You know what I'm saying? Look, look, we have to work with it. She look Glorilla in the back of the class rapping with the Dominican girl. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that's why I love them all. Look, you know what really gets me though? When when you talk into an adult and you realize, oh, you want to mind. You know what I'm saying? Can you imagine talking to your partner like, oh my gosh, she got ODD. you like, yo, what's that? A oppositional defiance disorder. Look, your husband got intermittent explosive disorder. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's why he keep blowing up at y'all. Anyway, um, uh, look, look, I bumped into something that was low-key hilarious, okay? I'm about to play it for you. Uh, hopefully, it'll play. Now, um, if you are easily offended, you probably should skip this next segment, all right? But look, it's a joke on black women, and don't nobody be coming to their defense anyway. <laughs> look, except for me. Uh, take a listen to what this man said. I'm dying to hear your thoughts on this. Take a listen. You want to sit around and talk about these black men's ain't nothing. These black men's ain't that. But they ain't shit. Cause in the last 30 years to 35 years, black man ain't even been in the house to raise them. So how y'all gonna talk about these young black boys ain't nothing when you sorry bitches who won't raise them the last 30 years? <laughs> so if they ain't shit, you the motherfucker who won't raise them where they ain't shit. <laughs> so how you gonna talk about a man? <laughs> you hold the one throwed us out for welfare yep. to get an apartment free or to get benefits. Instead of y'all wanna sit at home and listen at the black man work with a black man with partnership, the shit ain't over. Y'all making it over. The black man, we 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 participate in our cheering. Uh, PTA me, uh, school. We do still the same shit. But these hoes don't want us in the house. They want to kick us out because they want to go trick with this nigga and that nigga and then put us down talking about we don't love our kids and all that. I love my kid. And when one of these hoes say I don't love my kid, go to and one of my three baby mama and ask me if I'm a dead be dead. Because I'm going to tell you how I feel about you black hoes. I love black women. Jamaican black, Spanish black, you American bitches. Piss and then he went to go make the child support payments. Look, 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 didn't he, didn't he have the passionate pain in his voice of a child support payment that just came out? Look, let's keep the family together, man, and not rely on the government to raise our kids. Because we done told you before, the research says the father and the mother together or just the father. You know what I'm saying? Moms, we love you always and forever. You know what I'm saying? If you have a brain, then you know that does not mean we don't need you. We definitely need you. We definitely want you. But according to research... We do an excellent job raising these kids for Dolo too. You see what I'm saying? You like what research? Look it up. You got access to Google, don't you? You know what I'm saying? You got access to Google. I thought you did. Don't you be looking at your phone all the time? You smoke crack, don't you? You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, shout out to the Hodge twins and their appropriate humor. You know what I mean? That 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 where I found that clip at. Uh, look, had me die they had me dying the last couple of hours. Anyway, uh, where we at over here? I love, love, love. just to counter what you just heard. Here is some free game, courtesy of none other than one of the hottest to ever do it, 50 Cent. Take a listen to this free game. I thought this was fascinating. Take a listen. 
Let's say I gave you $1 million, but then I told you in order to keep it, you had a month to turn it into $2 million. Otherwise, I'm taking it back. What would be your strategy to double your money? Would you try to start a business and hope it grew quickly? Would you give it to an investor and hope they weren't the next Bernie Madoff? Would you buy 10 kilos of Coke and try and flip it that way? I hope not, because none of those represent the easiest path to that $2 million. All you have to do is put that money in your bank account, then walk over to your local branch. In this situation, I even give you permission to dress casually. When you get there, ask your branch manager to open your account. Their eyes are going to get wide when they see all those zeros on the screen. They're going to become super friendly, very eager to help you in any way they possibly can. You just stay poised and confident. After they ask you what they can do for you, calmly say, I'd like a loan for a million dollars, please. It might seem like an insane thing to ask for, but they're actually going to give you that million dollars so fast you might get whiplash. Fill out a few forms, make some small talk, and in an hour or two, everything will be official. And just like that, bam, you've done it. That's why I love 50, man. Man, just keep giving. You know what I mean? Uh, well, look, one day, one day I'm going to get his book and read it. Because, you know, it's like, there's a lot. Matter of fact, didn't he write the 50th law with the dude that write the 48 laws of power? I got to, I got to, I got yeah, I got to read. Let me, let me find that book. I got to find that book because, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 50's my guy, man. You know what I mean? Although I feel like he would sue me, but still. Um, where, where am I at over here? All right, look, 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 look. Where we at? Uh, look, this next clip right here, <laughs> it gave me the chills, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, take a listen to Wallow's seemingly prophetic strong message to Young Thug when Thugger showed up for an interview. Take a listen to this joint real quick. Cause I'm gonna tell you some shit, Thug. It's lonely than a motherfucker in there. And when life goes on, your family dying, but don't bring the dumb shit in the game trying to prove that you're a fucking real nigga. And while you proving that you're a real nigga, you're going to finesse yourself out of position and out of opportunity that can change your family and generations in your family life. Y'all getting money that niggas never got, thug. But don't wait until it's too late and you, and you got that phone, that burner phone, and you on Instagram, and I done told you how your life going to go. And now you got 60 fucking years. Your brother know what time it is. Ain't that creepy, man? It's like the only part we ain't seen of what he said was the 60 years. But now I'm wondering, is that what it's going to be? You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's, it's spooky. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, it's almost, it's very sad. Where my ice at? I'm starting to get hot. All right, listen. Um, what am I doing over here? All right, let me go to my shadows. We got a short video for today. I think we do. I think we do. Are you like, you say that every day. Yeah, I know. I, I do say it every day, but I really be trying to, I, I, I try my best. Listen. Uh, oh, 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 before I even go to the shoutouts, let me tell you about 50 Cent and BET and Shaq. All right? Um, Paramount, is connected with BET, okay? And BET was purchased for, I believe it's approximately $2.5 billion, all right? Uh, they, wanted to, they wanted to sell BET and a couple of people wanted to buy BET, all right? Um, according to Wall Street Journal report, they said Paramount Global has dropped its plans to sell a majority stake in its BET media group, which includes the VH1 and BET cable networks and BET streaming service, according to the people familiar with, with the situation. The company notified bidders Wednesday evening that it decided to end the sale process because it concluded that a sale wouldn't result in any meaningful deleveraging of its balance sheet, the people said. The bidders for BET was uh, Shaquille O'Neal, who was teamed up with Kenya Barris and rapper 50 Cent, uh, artist 50 Cent and group um, Black. The Wall Street uh, Journal has previously reported, and I believe Tyler Perry was even in on this. And can you believe that they upped the price? The company received bids for the stake ranging from about two billion to three billion. They uh, Paramount upped the price of BET from the two point whatever or the two billion to three billion, and the buyers, Shaq, um, Fifty, Tyler Perry, they all dropped out. Like, man, we ain't paying three billion for that. It ain't even worth it. You see what I'm saying? You see how they up the price? I find that to be very fascinating. Man, like a bunch of black people came out the woodworks like, yeah, we want we want to purchase this. And all of a sudden now they up the price. Um, incredible. The greed is just <sighs> just um disgusting. me. Anyway, let me let me let me go to my shoutouts real quick. Um where we at over here, man? Uh Urban 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 Girl Resin say your celeb. That 80 that's 88. You skipped one from the other day, but I'm gonna let you slide this time. Uh she talked about the, the the amount of times I said the N-word. I told y'all from the beginning of the year, I'm trying to say the N-word less. It is my favorite word, but some people find it offensive. Uh, oddly enough, the people that find the N-word offensive, is it white people? Not not uh, some black people, I guess. I don't find it offensive. That's one of my favorite words. Um, 
yo, 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 yo. Shout out, shout out to uh I, I got two shout outs. I got um three shout outs. Okay? We got Coco Loco. I think it's his birthday today. You know what I'm saying? We 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 uh, uh Kenneth Cole, uh formerly known as the face. You know what I mean? Uh, my man said, I, I, as soon as I lock this phone, I know you're going to drop. And then, and then we dropped. It was like we was waiting for him to lock the phone, and then we dropped. Shout out to you. Happy birthday. You know what I'm saying? Uh, LBJ, I think his birthday was on the 18th, man. So shout out to him. My man said, dang, celeb. No shout out for your boy. I was like, yo, my bad, bro. I, I meant to give you the shout out, but I forgot. You see what I'm saying? Um, I had a, I had another shout out. I had, a, I had a, another shout out. Listen, listen. Um, mommy to be right. That's her name, mommy to be. I just saw mommy to be. Then I just see mommy to be, mommy to be. I want to give a shout out to mommy to be, man. And I, I uh, mommy to baby, mommy to mom, mommy to baby. Listen, mommy to baby. Um, she had a very uh, traumatic situation. Um, earlier in the month, I believe it's around the twelfth. Uh, she lost her her, her her child. So I'm gonna need prayers thrown up. Now, it's the powerful, effectual prayers of righteous people make a difference. You know what I'm saying? And if you are connected to the Most High and the Most High has covered your sins, then he has declared you to be righteous because you are connected to him. I need you to pray for her consolation, for her comfort because she lost her her, her, her child. You see what I'm saying? And um, no one should have to, you know what I mean, deal with a situation like that. Uh, but but that's what she's dealing with, and it's extremely painful. And I I I could never imagine the pain that mommy mommy is going through. Yeah, you know I mean, so prayers up for mommy. Real talk. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Um, uh, 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 shout out to darkest child too. It's your birthday. You know what I'm saying. Uh, much love, much love. Listen, um, where we at over here, man? Uh, uh, I right, love the Mano. Let's 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 go over to Mano. Where we at? Uh, Mano, Mano, Mano. I know I got your story, Mano. I right, listen. Mano has provided a horrifying tale of eating too, one too many edibles. Okay, uh, and, and chances are, his story is exactly like yours. That one time you ate the edible, remember? You remember what happened that time when you ate the edible? He said, "This is what he said." He said, "I was on my way to the studio, but I went to pick up twenty-five cookies. Damn, twenty-five! God, yo, know Zay, I can't even eat twenty-five regular cookies, let alone twenty-five edibles. I wouldn't even pick them up." Uh, uh, he says, "Angela Yee's brother told me to take half." of one so i was on my way to do a session with raekwon and i had my son with me my son was young back then maybe six or seven Woo, look he's he's lucky look there's nothing worse than your 13 or 14 year old child seeing you have a bad trip on dope you see what i'm saying my bad listen he said then i took half of the cookie and then i got in the car and i left i got there and i said man i don't feel nothing <laughs> aren't those always the words he said I took a half and then another half. So I wound up taking a cookie and a half. Mm, mm, mm. He said I had an uncontrollable laughter. I was forgetting everything that I was saying in the middle of the conversation. I couldn't record. They was like, God, you good? <laughs> that's that's when you know you have to when, when your boys is like, yo, you good, bro? I thought I was. And let me tell you, that high kept hitting. It kept elevating. Mm, mm, mm. That sounded like an absolute nightmare. He said I was high from Friday to Monday, to Monday, God, you know what I'm saying, like, li listen, he said, I was panicking, I was shaking, and I was paranoid, am I gonna be like this for the rest of my life, close quote, listen, I pray, I pray that somebody takes an edible, then asks me that question, am I gonna be like this for the rest of my life, so I control them and say, if you ate a cookie and a half, yes, yes, you're gonna be like this for the rest of your life, this is the new, this is the new you, <laughs> What well, look, we are being introduced to the new you now. You see what I'm saying? Look, you didn't eat more than one, did you? That's how I'll be. Oh, you didn't eat more than one, did you? Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, yeah. This this is what this is what happened to my cousin. Yep. And he's never been the same ever since. This, this is permanent. <laughs> they can start really tripping. You know what I mean? All that before I start making subtle sound effects to really mess with him. And finally. See, didn't I tell you it was gonna be a short video? You like this is not that short. It, it's short. It's come on. It could be. You know, we sometimes we do give you hit to hit you with the 26s. Listen, 
In horribly tragic news, the brother of artist Black Youngster has been murdered in Memphis, okay? The artist's brother was gunned down in South Memphis at a gas station in broad daylight. This is horrible news, man. You know what I'm saying? In 2016, he lost a brother to violence. In 2019, he lost another brother to violence. This makes his third brother that we he will have lost to violence. You know what I'm saying? Prayers up for the artist family, man, because... um. You know, it's truly devastating stuff, man. May may our country um, cease with the violence. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I don't know if we pray. Maybe maybe if we if, if we collectively pray as a country, then maybe something positive could happen, man. You know what I mean? If we pray for the most high to lift the curse of gun violence. You know what I'm saying? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Your source. Celeb News.